What's going on, RV goers? It has been a long time, but this is Cam Hilliard from Miller's RV in Baton Rouge in front of our all new product. So before we jump into this video, go ahead, like the video, subscribe to our channel, and turn on your post notifications. So what, now that we're getting back to posting regular content, you can stay updated with all the greatest stuff that we have to offer. So without further ado, let's jump in. So I know we have taken a brief hiatus from the videos, but we've been saving them up for something really, really good. So behind me is StarCraft. So you can see and recognize the name. StarCraft is a Jayco brand, fantastic quality. We've taken on the Autumn Ridge lines and the Ultra, Ultra Light lines. Um, both we're really, really excited about. So the one they're gonna check out today is the 28 BHS. I really, really like this floor plan. I like anything with bunks, but also this one has a couple of hidden surprises that I think you're going to love. All right, guys, so this is the Autumn Ridge product. As I mentioned a minute ago, we have the StarCraft Autumn Ridge and the Superlight. So this is the 28 BHS floor plan. So it's going to be the aluminum siding, wooden frame trailer. So we've got a pass-through storage here. You can see the magnetic latches so nice and easy goes through um, or, or just holds up without much effort. Pass-through storage here. Tons of storage. You've got your hand crank for your jacks. There's also something that I thought was really cool. A lot of times whenever you have manual stabilizer jacks, we'll advise our customers like, hey, you know, bring an impact and bring a socket. And, you know, you can crank them down much easier. But this actually comes with a socket. So I don't know the size of this. Um, but it comes with a socket so you don't have to worry about taking one out of your set. And it just sticks right here. So bring, bring your impact and you'll be good to go. So this floor plan also has an outdoor kitchen, which we're going to swing around and show you in a second. But behind me, you can see this has the Lippert solid steps. I absolutely love these. It makes any trailer feel a lot more solid. And especially if you have any folks with bad knees or anybody a little bit older, much easier to get in and out of your trailer with these steps. Let's swing on to the back and check out this outdoor kitchen. All right, so we're out here by the outdoor kitchen now. Well, I'm going to open this up and you might notice one thing. I'll give you a second. So what you might have noticed is there is not a burner out here. Well, how's it an outdoor kitchen without a burner? Let me show you. So before I do that, mini fridge here, nice to keep your outside drinks and also make sure we don't have to go inside. This cabinet, these are going to be 80 pound roller guides in here. So very, very solid on the cabinets. Also, these are going to be pocket screws inside the back of this. So we actually have our StarCraft rep here and he was just telling us that this is actually solid wood on the drawers and also behind this there is not particle board really past the fascia of these cabinets so they're not going to swell up and look all ugly basically it's built to last um, so there's no burner here but what you'll notice uh, or you might not be able to see is actually there's a little mount on the bumper where you can put an outdoor grill and just swing it around so you don't have to waste any space in here you have the grill there you got your fridge here drawer here you got everything ready to rock and then whenever you're done if you want to hose off the grill, you've got a quick connect for a water hose here. So they've thought ahead. It's very nice, easy to do. Um, yeah, I love anything with the outdoor kitchen, so this is great. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and check out the inside. But first, got to point out this awning, man. This is a full-size awning. So the only thing it doesn't cover is the outdoor kitchen with you, you know, hooking up a burner right here. Probably not safe to put an awning on top of it. But this is a big awning. Why? You've got the LED lights underneath, too. You've got outdoor speakers as well. This is a party zone with the outdoor kitchen. Let's go ahead and check out the inside. Okay, so I'm inside of our Autumn Ridge now. As I mentioned, this is the 28 BHS floor plan. So you can see the bunk beds behind me, huge bunks. I love that, but we'll get to that in a second. How about this kitchen area? This is nice. The first thing that catches my eye, and might catch your eye, is this refrigerator. So this is actually the Norcold 12 volt compressor driven refrigerator. So if you recognize this from any of our other videos, this is actually the same fridge that they put in the Winnebago View. So fantastic fridge. It's personally, I had to say, it's probably my favorite fridge that they put in RVs. I like the sleek look of it and also just performance and reliability wise. I absolutely love it. So we're going to have a regular microwave here. It's not going to be the convection, which I'm okay with because instead of the convection, they give you the oven. So I feel like when I camp, I don't really cook a whole lot. But I know for a lot of you folks, it, the oven is a great thing to have. We we'll also have a three burner stove top on top. So these are both going to be Furion appliances. We've got a Dometic AC up top here, so a 15,000 BTU air condition. We're going to have our indoor speakers that complement this big 50 inch TV that we have here. Smart TV, my ad. Um, and I just want to highlight again. So these are solid wood on your cabinets. I mean, these things are really cool. 
Now I know you can't see it in the video, but I really encourage you to come check one of these out and just pull on the cabinets, kind of just you know play around a little bit with the trailer and see the quality for yourself. It is really, really high quality. So to my left, we're gonna have the U-shaped dinette here. Um, the U-shaped dinette can fold down to a bed. Also, here you've got your jackknife sofa. So this is an option, you can actually get this with recliners, heated and uh, vibrating recliners. So that's a cool feature to have. But this one does have the jackknife sofa. So also tons of natural light in this trailer, which I think is really, really important. It almost makes it feel like a rear living just because of the two big windows here. All right, so now we're gonna scoot back a little bit so you can see the TV that I mentioned and also check out the bunks and then this first hidden surprise for you. All right, so I'm in front of like the entertainment center TV area now. So you've got your radio controls here. Um, as I mentioned before, this is a smart TV, so that's really nice to have nowadays. I know it's pretty common, but this is an Insignia brand, so it's not like the cheapest TV you can have. It's actually got really good picture on this. Um, so with the cabinets, I already talked about the quality of the cabinets, but look at the space of it. I mean, these are deep cabinets, and also I, I think it just is very uh, residential style just by like the look of it. You're going to think the same thing when I show you the bathroom, um, but it's just a very clean look, very modern, um, yet very aesthetically pleasing. So this actually is bigger than I thought. Um, it doesn't have a hanging rod, but you could add a hanging rod relatively easy, nice closed storage there. And then you've got all your pull-out drawers here. So behind me are the two bunk beds. These are full-size bunk beds. So it's got the, the Teddy Bear Bunk Series mattress, so comfortable mattress, especially for kids. They don't really care that much as long as they're not sleeping in a normal bed at home. They're probably fine with that. But you've got a window on either bunk Again, great. It's natural light. It makes it feel a lot bigger than 28 feet in this thing. Um, so I love the bunk layout in this. It's spacious enough where even an adult can get in here and sleep and be comfortable as like a backup plan or something like that. So I want to pan into the bathroom and show you what's probably my number one highlight on this floor plan. Let's check it out. So I'm in the bathroom now. As I mentioned, really residential look. Also a really residential feel. This shower is like massive. This is the biggest shower, not only that I've ever seen a travel trailer, but I think this is the biggest shower I've ever seen in an RV. I mean, we did a video a few weeks ago in a Winnebago Class A that had a big shower, but this is, I mean, this is wild, man. It almost looks like if you, if you have a grandparent that's in like a nursing home or something, they have those like huge showers. This is what it feels like to me. I know it's not quite that big, but it is really, really big is my point. Um, so you've got your sliding little shower curtain there. You've got a vent here with a fan to help kind of get some of the air out after you shower. Um, pedal flush toilet. You've got the corner little cabinet here um, with your mirror for the vanity. Yeah, I mean, this is really a huge bathroom. A lot of times when you have the bunk bed floor plans, your bathroom, it's like cut in half like this, but they're smaller. I mean, this is, is really, really roomy. Um, so another thing that I want to point out while we're in the bathroom, I'll point this out. A lot of times on trailers, you'll have a little bit shorter headroom. A lot of times it can be around like 78 inches. This has 81 inches in your headspace. So it's, it's actually very roomy. Again, it feels bigger than 28 feet. Um, but yeah, normally don't get a shot this good in the bathroom. This is a really big bathroom and a really big highlight for me. So we're going to swing around and cover the last few parts of this trailer. So this is a sofa that I mentioned. Like I said, you can get this with recliners and there'll be a manual recliner, but with uh, vibrating and heated. So that's a good plus. Um, this is just your regular jackknife sofa. So it folds out here, extra sleeping space. So all in all, I mean, this thing will sleep, you know, two, three, four. I mean, it, you can sleep six very comfortably. If you want to put more in the full beds, you can get eight in this without a problem. Um, so I did want to point out something that is fantastic for kids and dogs as well. No carpet in this trailer whatsoever. So no carpet is going to hold on to smells. It's going to make it, you know, like six months before it gets all faded and dingy and nasty. So no smells and the, it's not going to get dingy and nasty because there's no carpet. Um, so I want to actually show you this dinette as well. So this is a U-shaped dinette. It's like my favorite. So let's check that out. Okay. So U-shaped dinette here. You can see the big window behind me, and this actually, uh, both of these have blackout shades. I forgot to mention that. Um, but yeah, this dinette will drop down to a bed. You can sleep two on this without a problem. If you just want to sleep one, that's fine as well. But you take the post out, drop this into your bed, and I would be astonished. Yeah, you've actually got storage underneath uh, your seats as well. So that's a, f a fantastic thing to have in a travel trailer. So to my left... You're going to have more storage here. So this could be pantry storage, blanket storage, clothes storage. I don't really know. This is actually a cool little cubby for like shoes or just like 
strange items, I guess. Maybe bags of like dill pickle flavored Lay's. I don't know. You could put something in there that would be really nice. Uh, but I, I like to have that there. So we're going to swing around to the final thing in the bedroom. And I have one more surprise for you. Okay, so I am in the bedroom now. We've got the RV queen here. Um, nice little look of this. I guess this is like linoleum flooring or something like that. I don't know. I, I like the look of that. Kind of like barn style. Um, but I've got our solar controller here. So you've got 200 watts of solar. You can add more up there, but it, it comes, Automage comes standard with 200 watts of solar. So big plus there. Now the surprise that I had to show you is not the storage that is below this with the gas, with the struts that keep it held up for you. That is not the surprise. It is this. So this is a wireless phone charger. That's very cool, but that's not the coolest thing you've seen. Check this out. So yes, it's a wireless phone charger. Also, if I click it, it pops up a little bit and I can put a USB so I can put my phone on top of that, plug in the USB and charge my watch there with like no problems. Small surprise, but it's pretty cool. Yeah, so I think the bedroom is pretty cool on this uh, Autumn Ridge. I think the living area is better. This is where you're going to be spending most of the time. But yeah, we hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is a 2024 StarCraft Autumn Ridge trailer. Um, it's a 228 BHS floor plan. We just started carrying this line and the super light line come check them out come see for yourself come pull in the cabinets ask us questions we would love to visit with you um and go ahead and like this video too don't forget to subscribe to our channel and, and guys if you want to know the price of this instead of me getting you a price that could be better by the time you watch this video check the link below we're going to have a link to all of our inventory with prices and pictures and all the good info that you want to know so we appreciate you guys stopping by and as always enjoy the journey hey there thanks for watching this video so we want to remind you again to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and turn on your post notifications so we can keep you updated with the best that the RV industry has to offer. If you want to stick around and watch some more videos, we've got a link for two videos here. So we'd love for you to stay and look at that. And if there's anything else that you want us to do videos on, leave comments. Thanks, guys. Enjoy the journey.